it seems like everything I do has a story with it, which is very Southeast Iowa. We are tale tellers on the farm. In art school, you were kind of, yeah, I'll just say it, you were punished if, if your uh, work had a story because that made it illustrative. It was, you're supposed to have paintings that create their own truth, their own reality. And if it was, if the picture was too referential to anything that actually happened, it was not appropriate for a museum wall. It was not for a gallery wall. It was for the Saturday Evening Post and a newspaper ad. And that was just not high-minded enough. If you were really a great artist, your, your work would inspire uh, a visceral response in the viewer. And they would create their own story. And if they were really sophisticated, it wouldn't be anything as specific as trying to find frolicking lambs in the clouds as you like in a grassy meadow on a breezy spring day. It, that, that wasn't it. It, it, it. And I never really understood it. I couldn't connect. I, I just couldn't connect with the 60s. I wanted to, but I just, it just didn't do drugs or something. I think that, I think that was what was wrong with me. <laughs> the uh, where did you go to art school? University of Iowa. So, uh, and I went there because I was. It was a snob school that I could afford. I was, I'm, I'm basically a snob. <laughs> so anyway, that's a whole other story. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, um, and I had real. I had some really good professors. But, um, and men that I admired as artists. And, and yet, I still, I just took in all that 60s, oh, it's got to be all about feeling and, and uh, shame on you, Mark Schaefer, for asking how to mimic in paint the glow of an old copper kettle. If I'm a real artist, I'll figure it out on my own. You know, it, it's kind of this uh, phobia against teaching a specific skill because that would be too workmanlike, not artistic, not creative. You have to kind of, you know, if you're a real artist, you'll reinvent the wheel every time you pick up the brush. Mm -hmm. And that's a terrible burden to put on a kid that's just trying to make pretty pictures. Oh, and it can't be pretty. It can be beautiful, but it can't be pretty. And so all these, all these messages that uh, challenged, and I shouldn't say challenged, it's okay to be challenged out of your complacency, and one should be lifted out of ignorance, but your your uh, your mentor shouldn't intimidate you and make you afraid to be yourself. So I always felt like I had to be something else. And uh, that's a terrible I, thing for an artist in terms of creativity. Yeah, they meant well. Squashes, it squashes oh, the yeah, creativity. And, and they were trying to uh, they were trying to do the exact opposite. And for some people, it works, but it didn't work for me. And um, I don't know how long it was after I graduated from college it was years before I picked up a brush or a pencil to draw I had to I had to get rid of all that stuff and there were you know I, there were skills I learned I mean you know life drawing and, and color theory and all that stuff but uh, to actually put it into practice in a way that uh, was authentic to my sensibilities was something else again. Yeah, but that's, everybody goes through that. So it's not like I'm any, anything special yeah. in that regard.